Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb, word of God. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Um, so we woke up with this epistle, you know, here uh, after, uh, you know, watching. The elder apostle Gabar, you know, yesterday bring out his epistle about. It's entitled uh, Two Thirds," and we'll put we'll make sure we put this in the description box. Just click on the title of this epistle, which is I U I C. This is the way walk you in it. Uh, so, elder apostle Gabar's epistle was uh, the two thirds begins with members that know they are Israelites. Shocking, isn't it? You know, but that's understanding and believing in the written word. You know, believing in the word, which is Yahweh Shai, which is Yahweh Shai. So uh, his epistle was based off of this comment from another brother. You know, th there was a comment that was, that was left in his uh, in his in his inbox about uh, you know IUIC members saying they don't know the name of Yahweh Shai. They don't know the name of Yahweh. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know, they're not calling on the names. They, in other words, they're they're um, they're going off. They don't believe in the written word. Um, and uh, so this is, once again, you know, this epistle entitled, I, you, I see, this is the way walk you in it. Now, you, want, you should ask yourself, you should ask yourself, why, why, why do they keep getting rebuked? You know, why are they, you know, what's going on? Why do these guys keep getting rebuked? Well, it's just, it's simple because that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's, you know, they are, they're constantly talking about keeping the law, right? Keeping the law, law, law. That's the law, you know, because when you, when you think about the law, the Lord is talking about the book in its entirety from cover to cover, the laws of life, the way that we should live, that we are the Israelites. And we're going to get, Lord willing, we'll, it'll, Lord willing, it'll be clear, you know, in this epistle and it'll all come out, you know, to the best of our abilities that, with the spirit that the Lord's given us, right? I also, also want to make mention that, you know, you hear me, you know, in, in these epistles, most of the time, constantly talking about the law, constantly talking about the law. And every time I'm, I'm like, man, I pray, I pray that, uh, you know, I didn't try to emphasize keeping the law like that. Because we, we, when we speak about keeping the law, it's, we're speaking about having faith in Yahweh Hashem Shai. Because the scripture tells us that we're justified by faith, not by keeping the law, but we're justified by faith, right? But it's like a... Uh, it comes back. It comes right back around to actually believing in the word, being doers of the word, and not hearers only. Because when you have faith in the word, you automatically gravitate to being obedient to the word of Yahweh Shem Hashai. I mean, to the letter, to the best of your abilities, with the spirit that the Lord has given you. You understand that the laws of life are for us. And Yahweh Shem Hashai, give. Hey, I'm, I'm talking too much, bro. Come on, let's go get this scripture. Come on, let's go get them. Here, come on, let's go get this Deuteronomy real quick. Simple understanding. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God, Yahweh Shemashah, are alive every one of you this today. Cleave. That means not turning to the left, not turning to the right, subduing your own understanding, but being obedient to the word of Yahweh Shemashah. You cleave into him because what? He's the word, right? I mean, what else do you have? How do you how do you know somebody? You know, by who they are. You know, uh, it's just like a husband and wife. You know, they're gonna be one flesh. They're gonna be on the same accord. You know, that's the way it should be anyway, right? You know, the husband being the head and the wife, you know, right right behind and right. You know, being being that hey, we we're on the same page, baby. And so the same thing goes, you know, with understanding and believing. And Yahweh Shemashah, that's why the scriptures say, uh, who have known the mind of Yahweh Shemashah that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Yahweh Shemashah, you know? Um, so therefore, these rebukes are going out because that's a part of believing in the word, having faith in the word, and actually doing, being, doing, doers of the word, and I hear only. Okay, so once again, Salaki, man. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4. Be ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God or alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes. And judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. 
Keep therefore and do them. I need my glasses, bro. Okay? I'm just going to put it on just, yep. Look, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and share. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have Yahweh Shema shall so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Right. He's in all things that we call upon him for. You know, if you are, you know, doing what he say, you know, everybody knows that you're obedient. You know, you're obedient to your parents. They're going to they're going to shower you with gifts and you make sure you're OK. But if you're disobedient to them, hey, you know, you could you, you you need to get your you need to get your act straight before you get this. You know, for what nation is there? So and that's why this that's why this uh, this grace period, this return period, you know, this uh, Yahweh Shah making intercession for us is so important, bro. To come back to Yahweh Shem Shah with that broken heart and contrite spirit, understanding, you know, that we've gone off, we went astray, and you, you, so you're coming back with your whole heart, as as commanded, you know, as prophecy say you're gonna do. Once again, not leaning on your own understanding, trying to do things the way you want it, or you know, totally, hey man, I don't totally understanding what times we're living in. And once again, let's let's, let's speed it up so we can do get this epistle, and and it won't, so it won't be so long, man. For what nation is there so great who have Yahweh Shemashah so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to yourself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest thou depart from the heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Right, man. The Lord has given us these laws, statutes, commandments. To govern ourselves to live by you know um and they're beautiful he didn't give these laws to another nation man you know and y'all you know you got the israelites out here just going off and then the, you know they 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 boast in the law but then they don't keep the law and once again going back to the to the to the simple question would you not think to yourself why are these guys being rebuked so damn much because simply they're going off you know this is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they, may, they be, that they may be sound in the faith. Okay? Wherefore, rebuke them sharply so that they may be sound in the faith. You know? And we could, we could, we could go on about it. We're talking about, you know, not calling them the proper names. We can, we can go in to say, you know, getting a 501c3. We can go in to say, uh, with these temples made with hands, you know, being in there. We could go on to say uh, meddling with with uh, between a husband and wife's affairs. You know, we can we can say all these things that y'all been going off on. You know, let's go. So uh, these are just warnings, you know, to to you know to the children of Israel, to, and cause you know and understanding also that we're only looking. You know, this word is going out for the 144 hopeful elect, the elect of the children of Israel. The scripture tells you that only a remnant shall return. A very small number. And this is a spiritual. This is uh, about being spiritual, not carnal. We're not talking about no numbers over here that you can actually see with your eyes. Because the scripture tells us to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling at the end of the day, right? Come on. Let's go to the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. And we know that and we know that we are of Yahweh Shemashai, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Right. We know that we are of Yahweh Shemashah and the whole world life in wickedness. There's a there's constantly a, a contrast being put out there. So you would think in your mind, okay, if these camps are being rebuked, there's a reason for that. You know, and that and here it is right here, this little scripture right here. We know that we're of Yahweh Shemashah and the whole world life in wickedness. So it's not only that um, we rebuke, you know, uh these other dis different camps with these wayward doctrines that's going off. But who who else is in our mouth? The 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 ones that the, the children of Israel that have don't even know they're the Israelites. They're in our mouths. You know, we crying and sighing to you. How about Shemasha about that? You know, that they they haven't returned. They haven't hearkened to the word of you. How about Shemasha? Who else is in our mouth? Esau Eden, the Caucasian race. Hey, you 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 this is your end of your kingdom. You're going down, you know. So we're here to condemn this wicked as world, give the children of Israel warning, you know, so they be sound in the faith, right? 
condemning Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. This is the end of your kingdom. This is the end of your world. Uh, uh, prophesying to the nations, you know, telling them, hey, you, you know, you, you, you've been following, following Esau and your ass going down too. You know, you're going to be in captivity as well. And then what else? These other, these other Israelite camps that's going off, the, those other circumcision are in our mouths too. You know, hey, telling y'all, hey, you better, hey, you might want to repent. At least you repent, you shall all likewise perish because you're going off. That's not the way. And that's why this epistle is entitled, IUIC, this is the way, walk ye in it. Come on, let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word bro one Lord one faith one baptism you know can we say it again you how about say you know I wish you would you all speak the same thing having the same mind being on one accord one Lord one faith one baptism there's not a bunch of different there's, there's not a bunch of different doctrines you know there's, there's not a bunch of different camps. There's one way. There's one word, one doctrine, okay? And, you know, it just so happens to be that Yahweh Hashem Asha has blessed the elders and apostles of Great Millstone with that 100% truth, right? You can tell them by their fruits, bro. He gave some apostles, some, let's go get that real quick. You know, and I, I talk about this all the time, man, because it's evident if you have spiritual eyes to see, you know? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shah, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Yahweh. And to a perfect man, you know, until the measure of the statue of the fullness of Yahweh Shah. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, bro. Because there's only one way. By the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Okay, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Yahweh Shai. Right, so he's, he's given, and you can clearly see it. Starting with the elders, apostle, great millstone, and all the brothers on down that umbrella, man. And all praises to you, how about Shema Shai? That the Lord has led us, you know, to come on the one accord, to be in, in unity with this 100% truth. You know, the Lord said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to we're gonna talk about it in this, in this epistle, you know, just quickly. Uh, to the law and to the testimony, right? All the way, Old Testament, all the way to the revelations. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. You know, if you want to, you know, go off a little bit. You know, hey, you're gonna get your ass rebuked. Why? Because there's only one. There's only one way. You know, you're not supposed to have any guile in your mouth, bro. You're gonna stay in Isaiah, going to the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 21. Well, let's start at verse 20 and to the title of this epistle. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, Yahweh Shemashah, and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers in their ears, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it, bro. When you turn to the right, and when you turn to the left. Right. Hey, wait a minute. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. You're going off. Once again, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Um, and, you know, Speaking again about Elder Apostle Gabar's epistle, you know, the, the brother that he was speaking about said he had a comment. No, he, he said he actually met the guy first face to face, an uh, IUIC member. Met him face to face and he's asking about the name. And the guy told him that, you know, they don't know the name. You know, and uh, like I was saying, you know, the Lord has blessed me to actually have conversations with these Israelite, these other Israelites that watch other, other groups and camps. And uh, it's hard to speak. It's hard to talk to him, bro. Why? Because 
if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. You understand that, you know, it's like talking to a brick wall almost. It's like their mind is seared with the hot iron. It's like you, they, you, you, you try to speak to them about spiritual things, but they're so carnal and they're so, you know, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's, it's, it's. Their, their mind is blind. They're blinded, bro. Yeah, about Shem Hashem. Got them angels on them. That the, the, the mind is gone. Let's go get that real quick. You know, that's the only thing. That's the only you gotta you gotta understand and believe, and that's believing in the hundred percent truth. Believing in the word of truth. You know, that's why the Lord say, "Hey, leave them alone." You know, because they be they be blind leaders of the blind. And he said, "You know, if that prophet be deceived, I have deceived that prophet." So you know, that's part of the gospel. That's part of the doctrine, bro. You know, we're not here to wake up all Israel. This is for the 144, hopefully, elect the one-third of Israel. You know, and, and that's why we're so thankful for this word of truth. And that's why we're, you know, fear you have about That's why we pray to the Lord. Please don't take that Holy Spirit away from us. You know, that's why we're constantly, when we wake up in the morning and we still, you know, retain the words of Yahweh Shemasha, the doctrine. We're so like, man, thank you, Yahweh Shemasha. And we have no, you know, this is of Yahweh Shemasha. This is not of us. When you really, fully believe and understand these words of truth. You know, that Yahweh Shemasha is almighty. Their spirits, you know, forces that we can't even, you know, can barely just comprehend. You know, the Lord has told us about them. Like, this, who, who knows how many angels are standing around right now? You never know, bro. I'm saying, man. You know, there'd be more with them than it is with us, bro. Huh? This is the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here I am, send me. And he said, go and tell this people, hear you indeed, but understand not, and see you indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's go get this in the, uh, where's my, where's my little ribbon at? I want to bookmark this, uh, this Isaiah 30 and 20 real quick. I want to get this in the blue letter just quickly in the NLT, okay? Uh, and today we're not, we're not, um, uh, we're not using that screen recorder, you know, we're gonna try to use, you know, use these tools that the Lord has given us. Come on, it's the, it's the, it's the internet on. What's wrong with it? It's lucky, bro. Okay. Okay. That's better. And, you know, we understand that this is a process, bro. This is a learning process. And that's why it's very important to come, you know, and seek the Lord while he may be found. Because um, we're constantly growing and constantly learning, getting more understanding day by day. And ultimately, this word, you know, is, is leading us to the hour of temptation, the time of Jacob's trouble, and that we're in now, the beginning of sorrows, you know. And this wisdom and this knowledge that we're accumulating right now will be the stability of our times, this faith. In, in, in Yahweh Shemashah. And we're going to get get to that. You know, even going back to that Paul Kersey. How you could you could hear the uncertainty uh, when he was on uh, Elder Apostle Tahar's live stream. You know, you can hear his uncertain, uncertainty about the M M A R K. You know, talking about some, what if they hold us down and forcing us in it? You know, oh, we can, that's when they had that, we can repent from the MOTB doctrine. You know, oh, they still got it, you know. Uh, so clearly they're going off because the scripture doesn't say anything about you can't. It says, you know, whoever takes that, you know, because it's going to be a choice. That's why they call it the hour of temptation. Whoever takes that, you know, will be cast into the lake of fire. They're going to get destroyed. They're going to get messed up, bro. You know, we got to go through this time of Jacob. show. we got to go through this with f having faith, total confidence in your house. Hashem Hashem. Going to be afraid, but that's why we're going to be crying out to you. To who? The name. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Once, Let's go get him there. We, we got this NLT, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Then I heard the Lord asking, whom shall I send as a messenger to this people? Who will go for us? I, I said, here I am, send me. And he said, go. You know, and see, once again, we, we're getting sharper and sharper and stronger and stronger in the truth. You know, uh, learning about what's right and wrong, what this really means, what that really, what that doesn't mean. You know, and that's, that's the rebirth that's being reborn. You know, taking out the, the old stuff. And putting it putting in the brand new good stuff, you know, the new wine, you know, um, uh, like even like this scripture right here, 
You know, I, I learned, you know, coming to the truth. I used to think it was talking about, talking about you know, uh, the messengers, the, the, uh, the prophets. But no, this is an angel, you know. This is an angel. Then I heard, then I heard the Lord asking, whom shall I send and who, and as a messenger to this people, who will go for us? I said, here I am, send me. That's an angel saying, here I am, send me. Just like that, that uh, lion spirit, that lion angel, that lion spirit that went down, you know, uh, to, to put a lion spirit on the prophets, right? And he said, go, yes, go and say to this people. Listen carefully, but do not understand. Watch closely, but learn nothing. Do you hear this, bro? Yes. This is the gospel right here. This is the gospel. Let's read it one more time. And he said, yes, go and say to this people, listen carefully. You know, you like we were speaking about it yesterday. You know, they, the, um, you know, children of Israel are going to wake up. Some, they're not gonna, some of them are going to wake up. They're going to know they're Israelites, but they're not going to have the, the Holy Spirit of truth in them. They're not going to have their breath in them, right? You're going to have others wake up, you know, uh, as it's speaking about in the book of Daniel right here real quick. Constantly, just every day, we can, you know, same thing over and over again. Same, same thing every, every day, bro. Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Right. Many shall be what? Purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. You know, going back, uh, precept is uh, uh, these these words are plain to the holy, but they're stumbling blocks to the who? To the wicked. Right. Let's go back. Uh, NLT, Isaiah chapter six, verse eight, verse nine. And he said, "Yes, go and tell this. Go and say to this people: Listen carefully, but do not understand. Watch closely, but learn nothing." Harden the hearts of these people, plug their ears and shut their eyes. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts and turn to, to me for healing. Right. And, you know, that reminds me of the scripture as Moses. Let's go get it real quick. Since we got this phone in our hand real quick. You know, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the son of man be lifted up. And what what what, what we're doing right now? IUIC. This is the way walk ye in it. Lifting up that that serpent. You know, hold on. In the book of John, chapter 3, verse 14, I'm going to go get it in the Bible. John 3, 14, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even, even so must the son of man be lifted up. What's his name? What's his son's name? If thou can tell, you know. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. Right. Um, whoever believe in him. And he, once again, Yahweh Shai is the word, right? The word made flesh, right? So, hey, this is the way walking in it, bro. Come on, let's, let's go. Continue on. Going to the book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 10, verse 14. So, like, 2 Corinthians. Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yahweh Shemashah to the pulling down of strongholds right hey we're we're, uh, we're we're this is a spiritual warfare the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yahweh Shemashah to the pulling down of strongholds you know breaking it down whether they hear or whether they forbear right because we're we're out here searching for the 144 whole food elect and Yahweh Shemashah said my sheep hear my voice and they know me and you know and I know them they follow me right Casting down, so 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Shemashah, that exalt itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Shemashah. You know, you're of your father the devil. You know, you either, uh, going back to that scripture we read in the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, we know that we're of Yahweh Shemashah and the whole world lieth in wickedness. You either on the side of Yahweh Shemashah, he does not with me, is against me, or you over here. You know, coming up with some confusion or some falsehoods over here. You of your father, the devil, just like Esau. Now, he's for everybody. You know, replacement theology. Uh, you know, thou shall not, thou shall not perish. You know, our house is gonna go on forever. You know, y'all gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna be our, our, you're gonna be our niggas and slaves and shit forever. You know, all these things. But no, we're looking for the kingdom of heaven because the time is at hand. Measure thou the time, diligent. We, we, let's go get it, man. 
for the weapons of warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yahweh Shemashah to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Shemashah and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shah. Right. See, because the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, you know, um, they're getting transformed by the renewing of your mind, you know, being obedient to the word of Yahweh Shemashah this time. You know, building up their faith in Yahweh Shemashah this time, understanding, believing in the word of Yahweh Shemashah, knowing that he's the one that's working in, in, in us to make us better, making us understand more, making us believe more, making us turn away from this wicked world, making us understand that, hey, all Israel is not Israel, you know, making us be doers of the word and not hearers only, bro, you know, coming out here saying that you believe, talking about the law, 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 but yet, you know, Casting the words behind you, bro, or or you are going off, and when you get rebuked, you don't change. This is the book of um, you know you don't take it to heart, you don't consider. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter three verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, you know. Once again, the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Right. The, the 144 hopefully elected Israel, they're going to understand and they're going to say, you know what? I'm afraid, you know. I heard thy speech and I was afraid. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We're speaking about the times that, the, the time that are, the time is at hand, bro. We're talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. We're talking about the, the day of the Lord. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. For what, what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. Do you understand? You not understand that, bro? You know, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18 and thou giving him not warning nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will I require at thine hand right this is the gospel you know so we're commanded to, to continue on bringing out this word of truth whether they hear or whether they forbear you know and that's love but they call it hating on them you hating on us you know and it's it's you, you followers, bro. Ain't nobody talking about, you know, it's you followers out there. You know, because what the scripture tells you, and ultimately, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, uh, this ain't no clubhouse stuff. No, it's this is prophecy being fulfilled. You will have no other choice. Because if the Lord is put that spirit on you, you're going to seek him. You're going to, and what the scripture say, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Okay. So if I were you, I'd be very afraid, man. If if someone, if you're constantly being rebuked and you cannot take that correction, you can't understand what's going on. You, you might want to pray to look to the Lord. You know, you may want to go on a fast. You might want to beg Yahweh Shemashai because it's clearly something going on. If you're constantly being rebuked for this, that, and the other thing, over and over and over and over and over. You know what? What the scriptures say? A uh, man being often reproved, reproved, hardening his neck, right? Let's go get that real quick. And these are the see, see, and this is the word. This is a, uh, uh, and that's that's having Yahweh Shemashai in you. You know, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, um, You know, and every every brother, every brother's got their own understanding. You know, not their own understanding because it's the same spirit. But every brother has a a, a measure of, of faith, a measure measure of spirit that the Lord has given them. Right? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty nine, verse one. He that being often reproved, hardening his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy, bro. Often reproved, often reproved. Hey, man, you're going off. 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 The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16 verse 40. Oh my people, hear my word, make ye ready for the battle. Right. Um hold on. Okay, look. Oh my people, hear my word. 2nd Ezra chapter 16 verse 40. Make ye ready for the battle and in those and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth, right? Because this is the time we're talking about. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. 
Uh, let's jump back over to Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. 17. Let's start at 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Right? Who's going to deliver us? Well, we're looking for Yahweh Shai to deliver us, not JC. You know? Not this false god and false idol so-called named JC, bro. Not Esau. Not, not man's, you know, woe, you know, woe to them that uh, trust is, trusting in man and make his flesh his arm. You know, we, we're trusting in Yahweh Shema Shah. Blessed is man that put their trust in Yahweh Shema Shah. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? You know, behold, famine and plagues, tribulations and anguish are sent for scourges for amendment. These things are happening right now as we speak. You know, hey, it's coming. Get y'all y'all ready? Are y'all getting ready? Are you getting fearful? Are you crying out to Yahweh Hashem to protect you right now? Or are you just come continue on? You know, in the house of mirth. You know, because that's why the scripture says it's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Roughly paraphrasing. For all these things, they shall not turn away. But let's start back at nineteen. So lucky. Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse nineteen. Behold, famine and plagues, tribulations, and anguish are sent for scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So, you know, it's like, okay, you know, Yahweh Hashem has already declared that you're not going to turn away from, from these things. You're not going to, you're not going to repent. That's why this word is only for the 144, hopefully elect and 130 of Israel. And that's just the way it is, baby. This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 72, 71. Let's start at 71. Oh, hold on, hold on. Salaki, bro. Let's start at 68. I'm sorry. Salaki, one more time, man. Because it's, it's too good. It's too juicy. I love reading. I love reading about these prophecies, Brad. You know, so we can keep them. You know, continue to remind ourselves of this. Uh, stir up that pure remembrance. You know, um, just to be ready. Make thee ready for the battle. To understand what's around the corner. To believe in his word of truth, you know. Uh, Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse sixty-seven. Behold, Yahweh Shemashai Himself is the judge. Fear Him, right? Fear the Lord. If you fear the Lord so much that you you pray not to have any guile in your mouth, you fear the Lord so much that you you know you understand that hey, this these things that are happening are of the Lord. You know, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race are the sword of the Lord. That's why Romans chapter thirteen speaks about obeying the power, because the powers are of the Lord, you know, the, the ones that he put over us right now. He sent Esau, you know, to put us in captivity. You know, he's going to, Esau is the sword of the Lord. He's, he's, he's the one that's going to uh, play a, a, a part in cutting off the two-thirds of the children of Israel, you know, with his military, with his concentration camps, with his uh, implementation of the MARK, you know. Uh, oh, just on and on and on. So we're afraid of Yahweh Shemashah. Behold, Yahweh Shemashah himself is a judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins, right? You know? How do we do that? By Lord willing, being covered by the blood of the Lamb, having faith in Yahweh Shemashah, repenting to the name of Yahweh Shemashah, asking the Lord to forgive us, to cover us for our sins, right? And then because of that faith, you understand to be obedient to the word automatically. I don't want to do wickedness. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't. That's the old man. That's the old me, right? That's, the, that's what Esau taught us to do. He... He, he, he led us astray, bro. He had us worshiping false gods and false idols, so-called named JC, Buddha, Allah, you know, with all these different philosophies and doctrines, with all this witchcraft. He had us fucked up, you know, telling us the law, statute, commandments were done away with, all these things that these damn devils had done. So now, now we come back to you. How about Shema Shah? What the scripture say? Seeking 10 times more, bro. Okay? Understanding that we are the Lord's chosen people, bro. A royal priesthood, my man. You better act like it. You, you, try to look, you try to look like it. Won't you act like it? Won't you act like it, bro? By being obedient to your how about my shot? Understanding the, the order of things. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be the damn chief. Behold, Yahweh Shemashah himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh Shemasha lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble, bro. Okay? And we have trouble in the flesh. We cry to Yahweh Shemasha for that. You know? 
And we were speaking about that yesterday. And a few days, you know, passed because, you know, we have these 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 carnal lust and everything and that now now the understanding even comes even more clear you know the understanding of uh you know say when when a man is tempted don't say that you're tempted by your how about but you're tempted you're, you're you're drawn away by your own lust you know the brother there's a brother gms feed the flock yesterday made a beautiful epistle bro about uh uh having martial law on the mind i think it was it was entitled having i, I reposted it having martial law on the mind so you you fucking gotta sometimes you gotta beat that freaking mind down and tell your mind you mind you man you better take a back seat, you know, because that flesh that carnal that carnal I think it was that's what I think that was talking about he's uh martial law on the carnal or the flesh or something like that you gotta beat that flesh down and tell that flesh man get your fucking ass back here man, I'm not thinking about that shit no more man we gotta we got we got we got we got work to do we got things to do we gotta we gotta pray we gotta we gotta be watching, you know, cause a day of trouble is at hand bro. This ain't no joke, my man. Just imagine when all hell breaks loose and your ass been fucking around or bullshitting around. But no, this is the time. This is that grace period to, to make thee ready for the battle. You know, this is that grace period to build up that faith in your how about Shema Shai. To be confident that when, you know, that day will come, you you be, be able to call on your how about Shema Shai out of a pure heart. You know, just like Hezekiah when he was about to die. He said, Lord, have I not, not, you know, let's go get that scripture, man. Hold on, man. Let's go get that. And that's what we're talking about in that day, having, you know, you know, um, hold on, man, hold on, let me get this scripture real quick. That's a perfect example. Damn, I keep spelling the, the uh, where's the H at? Get them damn demons. I just typed in, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and wept to find the account, which is in the book of Isaiah chapter 38, verse 2. Hold on. Isaiah 38, verse, let's start at 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, Yahabashimashah, Shah, set thine house in order. Right, and what's the scripture in the in the Apocalypse talking about? Set thy house in order and reprove thy people. You know, uh, we got to go get that now. Uh, reprove thy people, set thy house in order, and and hasten to flee from these times. Right, because uh, many evils are you know about to come in, in you know hereafter. You know, and this is what time we're living in now, the last days. You know, so we're setting our house in order, bro. Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live, right? Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto Yahweh Shemashah. Because Yahweh Shemashah is the one that kill and make it alive. He's the one that make it poor and make it rich, right? And that's why I was, we, we know uh, when Paul Kersey came up on Elder Apostle Tahar's uh, live camp and he was live streaming, he was talking all that, that talking with the spirit of unbelief. I was like, I was like, well, you know, I did, I'm like, well, what do you expect, bro? You know? What do you expect? Because these these other camps are carnal. They're not spiritual, bro. You know. Uh, but what we what, what Great Millstone, you know, speaking one hundred percent truth, which is based off faith. These dudes even called us a faith based camp, bro. Like it was a bad thing. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Shit. Come on. Isaiah chapter thirty eight verse two. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed until Yahabashimashai, and said, "Remember this is the point. Remember now, O Lord." I beseech you how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, bro. And have done that which is good in thy sight, bro. And Hezekiah wept sore. The scripture tells us to rebuke them sorely so they be sound in the faith. So they can so they can do the things that will please the Lord. Because right now, if we're judging this matter, you know, looking at you, saying, man, you you you're going off, bro. You know, that's love. Examine thyself before the day of judgment, right? Then came the word of the Lord, Yahabashem Hashem, to Isaiah, saying, Go to say to Hezekiah, Thus said the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer. I have heard thy prayer, bro. 
and I and have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of King Assyria, <clears throat> and will defend this city, man. You see, and that's what we're hoping for in the days to come, man. When when we pray. That to you, how about in this time of Jacob's trouble, that the Lord actually, you know, defends us and, and uh, protects us, you know, because he said there's some standing here where they will not never taste of death, bro. You know, uh, the scriptures say, uh, hey, the days of trouble are ahead, but I will deliver you from the same. You know, alas, for that day is great is the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, bro. And we're hoping to be a part of that 144 elect number that the Lord said he's going to he's already declared the end from the beginning saying I'm going to, hey, you're predestinated right here. You know, that's what we're looking for, bro. Praying. So let's go back to this. Second Ezra chapter 16. Um, verse 67. Behold, Yahweh Hashem is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins, and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh Hashem lead you forth and deliver you from all your tr all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. Right. Those, you know, you, you, you know, instead of crying out to you, how about Shemashah, you're just going to, you know, fear the damn devil, Esau, even the Caucasian race, not knowing the prophecies, not knowing that the Lord said, hey, wait ye upon me. I'm going to come and get you. Don't worry about it. You know, uh, fight for the truth unto death and the Lord shall, you know, strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee, bro. You know, looking back at our forefathers. Look at the generations old and see, did anybody ever that put their trust in Yahweh Hashem was confounded or forsaken, bro? You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what's going on right here. It's a test of your faith, a trial of your faith. The hour of what? Temptation. You know? For behold, uh, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. You know, uh, what does scripture say in the book of Revelations? Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knows that he had but a short time, bro. Yeah, that, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them, you, you, just, you, just, you just done gave it up. Oh, well, I guess just the way it is. No, we're looking for new heavens and new earth where joy of righteousness. But we understand that this shit's got to be turned upside down. All these things, all these prophecies must be fulfilled, you know. And they that consented to them, that's that's having the mind of Yahweh Shemashai, bro. But then, how then? Let's go Romans, you know. Salaki, so man, am I, am I all over the place? Romans chapter... 10 verse 11 for the scriptures say whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed for there is no difference between the jew and the greek for the same lord is over all is for the same lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord Yahweh Shemashah, shall be saved how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher right because all these guys are talking about is law 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 but what about the faith what about having faith in the in the word which is Yahweh Shah? Oh, oh we we talk, talk, talking about we talking about Christ. You know? What the fuck going on around here? And how shall they preach except they be sent? Right? As it's written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? Right. Now these guys keep getting rebuked over and over and over again. But who have believed it? Why why are they getting rebuked? What what well, aren't they Israelites too? All Israel is not Israel, baby. You know what I'm saying? But but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? The hundred and forty four hopeful elected one third of Israel have believed it, right? So then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shemasha. So what? Faith coming by hearing. But then uh, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 10, you know, speaks about they, they got, you know, uh, and don't forget about the scriptures talking about they got itchy ears, 
keep it to themselves. Teachers have an itchy ears, right? Isaiah chapter 6, verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears uncircumcised. They cannot hearken. Don't forget, the angel, angel done blinded, blinded them. And the, and, the, and the God of this world has blinded them, the, uh, the, the minds of them that believe not, right? Behold, the word of Yahweh Shemashah is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. They don't have delight in the in the hundred percent truth. No, but but they want some entertainment. They want to see the cutting. You know, they want to be lied to. You know, uh, tell us some of them sweet words. They want them sweet words. You know, they wanna they wanna go to the to the damn fashion show. You know what I'm saying? They wanna go to that that boogie damn Passover and stuff. You know, not the solemn assembly. You know, they wanna they wanna do the uh, the uh, Sabbath day. On the day that the Lord said it's not the Sabbath day, you know, when the when the new moon comes in, they they can't they cannot hearken, the rebukes, over and over and over and over, you know, we're in the Sabbath day right now. Mhm. Mm Look, going back to Second Ezra chapter uh, sixteen, verse sixty nine, and they that consented to them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities. Uh oh, hold on, bro. There should be in every place. For there should be in every place and in the next cities the great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right. That that uh, Revelation chapter twelve verse twelve we just read. For they shall waste and take away their goods. I'm going to break in your house. You can only have a week supply of food. You got all this shit stocked up. You think you're good. Why? Because you're trusting in yourself. See, uh, I want to point that out too. Because, you know, when we begin to hear. When we begin to hear about the prophecies. And this word, you know, we, we were totally, you know, terrified. And we began to pray to the Lord to, uh, you know, help us and deliver us out of the hands of our enemies, you know, from that time until now. We're going to continue to do it, too. Uh, and it starts to sink in that this is the will of the Lord, you know, that these prophecies are going to happen, right? That they're going to come in, they're going to throw some of you in prison. You know, some of y'all, some of us going to be beheaded for the truth, you know, Lord willing, you know, we all, you know, hey, if, if it be the will of the Lord, you know. We understand that if it, if, it, if it has to be us, it's going to have to be us. But we're hoping that it, it's not us, but we understand that it is. Just like how I say, uh, if it be thy will, can this, you know, can this cup, is there any other way? Can you take this cup out of my hand? Then he said, nevertheless, thy will be done. You know, because all these prophecies must come to pass, bro. So we begin, morning, Mr. Morning. We begin to understand, you know, at that time that if the Lord... You no, know, is not there to cover us, you know, and, and protect us in that day. Then, you know, that's, you know, because two thirds are going to be cut off. So we must be falling in a lot of the two thirds then if the Lord is not there to cover us. But we're praying and hoping that we are part of the 144 hopeful elect and the 130 visual that's destined to be delivered. Okay. And that's that's what it is. So you you begin to understand, oh, you know, me stocking up on food is not actually going to deliver me. You know, me trying to get a hideout spot somewhere is not going to deliver me. You know, me trusting in man is not going to deliver me. But trusting in Yahweh Shemashah, he said they're going to call upon my name. I'm going to deliver them. He's going to give his angels charge over us. You know, um, you know, we're going to he said, I'm going to I'm going to be the God of them. They keep my commandments. Uh. Um, that's, and we just read that earlier, you know, make you ready for the battle, you know, be even as pilgrims on the earth. All these things are prophecies that must be fulfilled, bro. Okay. And when you, when you really believe this word of truth and you, Hey, it's, it's a beautiful man. Okay. So look, come on. I think we're going to, we're going to have to close it out in a minute, man. We can't, I don't know if we can do the whole, we have to might break it down. I'm not sure. We might just break it down into two parts, I guess. Uh, 
For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you idol with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. They shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, bro. You see, do you hear that? It's going to be like fucking bad around this mother skunk. You know, then shall they, then shall it be known. You see, who are my chosen? The elect of the, of the elect of Israel. You know, as a stripper in Galatians talking about, speaking about, um, and to them that, you know, walk according to this rule, peace be unto them, bro. Galatians. Chapter 6, verse 16. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of the, of your, of the Lord. You're right. And then shall it be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear ye, my beloved, said the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. This is the point we wanted to make. We read all of that to get to this point. Oh, hear, hear, oh ye, my beloved. You know, that elect. The 144 hopefully like the house of David. Said Yahweh Shema Shai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will I will deliver you from the same. Right. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Shema Shai is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments. I remember that one of the guys, one of the heads of IUIC said, We we know the time of Jacob's trouble cannot we're not, we're not ready for it. You know, like, we got to stock up. We got to get the underground damn network tunnels and shit. We got to do this. We got to do No. Because the scripture speaks about, you know, your house shall come in as a thief in the night. You know, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. You know, they, the scripture speaks about just as in the days of Noah, they were eating, drinking, and giving in marriage. You're going to go going about your own little way. That's why he said watch, and, watch as well as pray. You know, that's why there's a body of Yahweh Shemashah has the body. Starting with the Elder Apostle Great Millstone and all the brothers on that umbrella, man. You know, looking out for each other. Looking, you know, by the way, you know, looking out for each other. Um, bringing out articles, trying to, you know, teaching, you know, speaking about uh, different brothers, you know, in different ways. Saying, uh, hey, eat this. This is healthy for you. You know, you know, a little exercise profit, you know, bodily exercise profit little, but it's still profits. You got to take care of yourself mentally, uh, you know, um, not trying to be over righteous, but don't don't be overly wicked. There's a balance. And that's what the brothers do. Comfort each other with these words, bro. And I just want to I don't want to make want, want to make mention of this. OK, if you all ever see this. It's called morning glory, the incense. Woo, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Look, I, I got this pack the other day, and I'm already down to like six of them. They're, these are good, bro. I like. I was like, damn. Okay, just want to put that out there, by the way. So look, let's go back, man. Hear, O ye my beloved, said Yahweh Shemashah, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Shemashah is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. Let not your sins weigh you down. And let not your iniquities lift themselves up. Okay. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities. As a field is covered over with bushes and a path therefore covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therein. Right. So, you know, saying that, bro. Once again, going back to the we're not justified by keeping the law, but we're justified by faith. The scripture are telling you, you know, because you're are you willfully sinning? You know, so that's why it's, it's, you, you're walking in the spirit because the scripture tells you those that are walking in the spirit, you know, are not under the law because you're automatically going to be, hey, I know that that's wrong. I'm not going to do it. That's why the scripture tells you he's a Jew inwardly. You know, I'm not going to do that. The scripture tells you, um, uh, you know, you, you like I, I want to make mention of me meeting one of the IUIC members that actually work at a federal building, bro. And these motherfuckers wearing his fucking fringes in a federal building, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you know what I'm saying? But that's the that's the madness of it, man. So, um, because the scripture tells you be wise as a serpent and harmless as doves. Okay, 
that's being doers of the word and not hearers only. That's that that's that's having faith in the word, you know, not trying to be over righteous and all that stuff, but actually knowing and believing what you're involved in, bro. This is some serious business, but it's it's also a, a privilege. It's a de delicate matter, you know. Come on, let's get get these strips, man, so we can close it out. I'm just yapping, and oh my goodness. Okay, oh man, we're just gonna have to do it, man. We're gonna do it, man. We're gonna do it till the wheels fall off, bro. Okay, and I'm sorry, Salaki, bro. I'm not sorry. This is the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai. Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 5. Ye have not gone up into the gaps. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 2. Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them thou, that prophesy out of their own hearts. Ye, ye Hear ye the words of Yahweh Shemashai. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, war unto them. Warn to the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit, man, and have, have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Okay? Who are we talking about? We're talking about these false prophets with these false doctrines. These other Israelite groups that's going to fuck off. Because you have a Shemashah once again. Say, I wish you all speak the same thing. Come into one accord. There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay? Have... Uh, it says, ye have not gone up unto the gaps, neither made up the hedge... For the house of Israel to stand in the battle of the day of the Lord. Right. And that's what we just, that's all the, the strips we just spoke about in the book of Second Etrus. You know, make thee ready for the battle. Get your shit together. Get your mind right. Have faith in Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Have faith in the written word, my man. It's serious, man. You know, this is not something that we're just talking about just because we feel like rebuking somebody. No. This is the commandment of Yahweh Hashem Hashem that we do these things. That brotherly love. That's, this, you know, not suffering sin upon your neighbor. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 8. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? Right. If you stand over here talking about some, you know, con constantly uh, debating and going off about the name. We don't have the name. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you just, what do you call it when you, when you, uh, when you're in the sand and you're just brrr, spinning out, spinning out, spinning out. You know, that's why the scriptures say, uh, you know, um, uh, we got to go ahead and go get it in the book of Titus real quick. Hold on. Let's go get it now. Uh, here we go. Come on, baby. Okay. Titus. Chapter uh, three. Verse 9, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and striving about the law. For they are an unprofitable and vain. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition, reject them. You know, hey, and I've, I've, I've had a conversation, like I said, I've had many, Lord bless me, to actually see and have many conversations. Yes, in this small place where we live at down here. Many Israelites that follow different doctrines and everything. There's a guy that said... He used to follow Tahar, you know, but now uh, he, he used to preach the word, but now he's put down the plow. And somehow in his mind, he think he's cool. He's not afraid. You know, these motherfuckers are bugged out. They're going off. I'm afraid, you know, because the scripture tells you uh, if any man uh, take his hand off the plow, he's not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Roughly paraphrasing, right? This is the book of Micaiah chapter 3, verse 3. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's start at uh, 1. And I say, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and you princes of the house of Israel. Is it not for you to know judgment? Who hate, who hate the good and love the evil? Who pluck off the skins from off them and, and their flesh from off their bones? Who, let, who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them? And they break their bones and chop them into pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the cauldron. Okay. They shall. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings, bro. See, it's all spelled out right here, bro. Telling y'all over and over and over and over and over and over again, you know. By the mouth of his prophets. You're going off. You know. And this is going to be your judgment. At least you repent. You know. Because you know. Uh, like once again. Make thee ready for the battle. Tell the children of Israel. That they are the children. You know. Uh, what does the scripture say? Um, 
put on a spirit, but not of my spirit, you know, and a covering, of not of my covering, roughly paraphrasing. Also, uh, having a form of godliness, but denying his power. You know, because the scripture tells us, if the Lord be with us, who can be against us? You know, that's why we're coming back. Put on thy strength, O Israel. You know, put on thy strength, O Jerusalem. Have faith in Yahweh Shema Shah. You'd be like, you know what? Taking, you know, the, even Yahweh Shah say, hey, you cannot do anything against me unless they were giving you from, from Yahweh Shem, from Yahweh, bro. Come on, man. This is the book of John, chapter 6, verse 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Right. These are the words of eternal life. These are the words of eternal life. John chapter 10, verse 27. Wait, let's start at 25. Yahweh shall answer them. I told you, and you believe not. The words that I the works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me, but ye believe not. Because ye are not of my sheep. I said unto you, My sheep. Hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Right, but then he also said, you know, um, and, you know, they're under one accord. Just like we're supposed to be under one accord, you know. I want to, I got to read this too, man. John chapter 14, verse 14, as you read yesterday. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that ye may abide with, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while in the world. See me no more, but ye shall see me because I live. Ye shall also live at that day. Ye shall know that I am in my father and ye in me and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them cover to cover, right? He it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved my father and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. We're talking about. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come. You know, we're talking about the kingdom of heaven, right? Okay. Revelations chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of the prophecies, and those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Yeah, blessed are those that hear the words and keep them, that understand these words. And the prophecies, you know, all the prophecies of what we just read, all of these words, you know, um, about the false prophets that fillet the skin off the children of Israel. You're going to take heed to these things. You can be aware of them and look out for them. You know? Like, once again, I was, I was like, when I, uh, when the Lord blessed me and brought me over to the elder apostle Great Millstone and all the brothers on down the umbrella with that 100% truth, I was pissed off. I was mad. I was, th well, number one, I was thankful, but I was mad at these other camps because they were fucking with my life, bro. You know, with these false doctrines. But Yahweh Shema Shai, bless you, man. I was pissed. Man. I was like, you, you, they, they, they could have had me out there fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? It got me running around wearing fringes all over the damn place. You know, talking to people in the damn grocery store, trying to wake up the whole house of Israel, man. Come on, boy. Come on, you mother. Oof. But keep it spiritual, bro. It's the spiritual. And these are the conditions of the battle. And these are the things, as you grow and learn in the truth, you start to understand, okay? Over time, because you believe in Yahweh Shemashah. You believe in the word. Okay, brothers and sisters. This is the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keep the sayings of the prophecies of this book. Okay? Yeah. Keep the prophecies of this book, man. Keep the prophecies of this book. Go on to Zeph Zephaniah. Zephaniah. Come on, baby. Uh -uh. Okay. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel. Because you got on a, you got another doctrine. You're doing things your own way. You think you're the you think you're the master. Who's the master? Show sure up. Who's the master? Show sure up. You know what I'm saying? You know, but what what? 
Who's the master? Yahweh Shai. Who's the master? Yahweh Shai, bro. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 12. And he said unto me, Friend, how cometh thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Right. Then said the king to his servants, Buy him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into utter, outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. This is the words of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, this, this word is not for everybody. It's for the 144, hopeful elect, and one third of Israel. What's that, what's that song? People, get on board. People around the world. Join hands. You so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians do the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 9. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of Yahweh Shemashah. You know, blessed are those that are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. You got that wedding garment on. You know, the Lord has called you. And I fell at this feet to worship. And then he said unto me, See thou that doest not, for I am the fellow servant and the brethren. They have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. This is the testimony of the words of Yahweh Shema Shah. Worship Yahweh Yahweh Shema Shah. For the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy, bro. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. About these things that are about to come to pass. You know, uh Yahweh Shema Shah about to put a you know a fork in this place and it's gonna be done. This is the book of Revelate uh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you find, bid them to the marriage. You know, um, my mind falls back on Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, I beg you, brothers, by the mercies of Yahweh Shemashah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, man. Forgetting all those things behind, we count it all dung, pressing toward the mark, kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, all this other stuff, distractions and shit. No, bro, this is serious, man. I know. We're talking about an everlasting kingdom, an everlasting rulership, okay? We're talking about the governing body of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, bro. Okay? This is big. It's big. Go ye therefore into the highways and hedges, and as many as you find, bid them to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and hedges and gathered together all as many as they found, you know, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came to see the, the guests, he saw there a certain man which had not on a wedding garment. Right. So you got the false prophets out here and you got the followers of the false prophets. If the blind lead the blind, they both go fall in a ditch. But then you got the ones that were actually called. You know, they got the, the proper attire on. They're waiting on they're waiting on your house shot to come. You know, the five wise virgins and stuff, you know. And when the king came to see the guest, he saw there was there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how cometh hither in here not having a wedding garment? That's right. We're reading it again, baby. Because it's serious. And he was speechless. Motherfucker. They've been rebuked over and over and over and over. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Most of you all come under one accord. Humble yourselves under the mighty hands of your Habashim Shah. You know? You know, puffing up, you know, pride coming before destruction, bro. Come on. So many chiefs, not enough Indians, right? And he said unto him, friend, how come in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said to the king, to the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him out into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many a call, but few are chosen. Do you understand that many a call, few are chosen. Many a call, few are chosen. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Matthew chapter 13, verse, is it 45? Let's start at 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure. Uh, hold on. Okay. Okay. 44, the, again, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a treasure hid in a field and the which when a man had found, uh, he hid it, he hideth and for and for joy there, thereof goeth and sell all that he hath and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a merchant man seeking goodly pearls who when he had found one pearl of great of great price went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net 
that is cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered to and gathered the good into the vessels, but cast away the bad. So shall it be at the end of the world, bro. So this is, you know, it's not like, like it's already set, man. It's like, uh, we everybody's in their life. We're just, we're just doing what the Lord has commanded us to do. And this word is going to gather the elect, you know. Simple as that. Nobody's trying to twist your arm or try to, you know, it's just the way it is. It's the story, and it's a beautiful story. And we're thankful to be, you know, bringing out this word of truth, uh, hoping still, you know, to be a part of that number. Not knowing, we're just some, we're just unprofitable service, man. Doing a reasonable service, bro. That's it. Just bringing out this word. Telling you, this is the way. Walk ye in it. You know? And to the best of our abilities, right? Seeking out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Getting the blood off our hands. Turning away from this wicked world. Fighting the carnal flesh in ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do the right thing in the sight of Yahweh Shema So it can be like Hezekiah, bro. Okay? Come on. When, which, so this is the Matthew chapter 13, verse 48, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into the vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angel shall come forth and sever the wicked from the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. Thou shall be welling and gnashing of teeth, you know, and all praise to you. How about Shema Because right now, you know, uh, through the brotherhood. There's some videos been circulating, you know. The brothers are always speaking about it, you know, uh, before, you know, I was made privy to it. Um, but now, all praise to Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, I was uh, invited to, to join the ranks of Great Millstone, you know, still sinking in. And it's, it's really all praise to Yahweh Shema Shai. But there's, you know... Uh, little videos that come out about and we see graphic judgments that's being played on the earth graphic judgment and you know we read about them in the scriptures all the time this is the way our forefathers live you know killing you know you know righteous judgment fucking up people fucking them up so we seeing that you know in these videos you know i saw a man uh i think it was a man it looked like a man it could have been a woman it was hard to say but this, this, uh, you know, I told y'all about the woman with her had her head cut off, you know, down in one of those uh, down, I think South America somewhere maybe. Uh, that was something else, and it was, you know, getting uh, keep. I had to watch it like two or three times to really let it settle into the spirit because these are the times that we're coming into. With judgment is going to be all around us, bro. Trips speaks about uh, ten thousand falling on that side. You know, a thousand at their right hand and ten thousand at their left. You know, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Um, and you know, we're just getting used to that now. That's why we understand about two thirds of the children of Israel getting cut off and die. We're gonna actually see them get cut off and die. You know what I'm saying? We're hoping and praying that it's not us. Okay. So that's what that's what times we're living in, man. That's that's the wisdom and the knowledge, the stability of that times. You know, and the Lord is building us up for all these things, right? So. So saw a man get dragged, you know, get kicked and beat. And, uh, you know, it looked like, you know, he was knocked unconscious. Then they drug him up the road. Then they, somebody hit him in the head with a big ass fucking rock. And they set his ass on fire, bro. You know, these things are happening. Right? Um, you know, we see the videos of people getting shot and stuff. You know, you think nothing of it. But these are the judgments of Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay? That's why knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, bro. This is, this is, you know, that's what, going back to what I was saying earlier. <clears throat> when I heard about, started watching the Elders of Apostle Great Millstone <clears throat> and learned the name, you know, all the brothers on that umbrella, you know, Mysteries of the Kingdom, my big brother, Elder Manate Zatba, you know, and a few other brothers, you know, uh, initially, and then slowly started to collect more brothers, you know, subscribe to their channels and get more and more edified and more and more built up in the faith because he gave him some elders, apostles, some some prophets, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, right? It's a process, bro. Uh, I got upset at these other Israelite camps going the fuck off, you know, rallying around one or two fucking teachers, but not promoting everybody else to go teach like elder apostles. Like, that's the truth. That's the way. That's 100 percent truth right here, you know. That's the hundred percent truth, bro. That the Lord has commanded all that we go out here in the highways and touch, you know, a nation of kings and priests, bro. 
That's the this is it, the 100% truth, my man. Okay? Come on, let's go back to the scripture. They are talking so much, I, I, I missed the place, man. I think we were going to, where are we going to go? To Luke chapter 14, verse 33. Okay. Yeah, hold on. So uh, let's let's start back right here, man. Again, the kingdom of heaven. So this uh, Matthew chapter thirteen, verse forty-five. Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a merchant man seeking godly pearls, who, when he had found one, okay, we 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 read all that. They're gonna be weeping the national teeth, right? Then I want to go to the book of Luke, chapter fourteen, verse thirty-three. Well, let's let's jump all the way back up to twenty-six. Luke chapter th fourteen, verse twenty-six. If any man come to me and hate not his father, mother, wife, and children, and brethren, and sister, yea, in his own life, also he could not be my disciple. Right. Just understanding that this scripture is speaking about uh, you, there's no, you can't put anything before Yahweh Shemashah. This is first and foremost, you know, and that way uh, you're subduing your own thinking. You, you, you're not leaning on your own understanding. You know, it's you and the word of Yahweh Shemasha seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And then you become a part of the body, the brothers and sisters. Who, who's my brother and my sister? Those that do the will of Yahweh Shemasha automatically. You, and, and as a whole, we know that we're of Yahweh Shemasha and the whole world lies in wickedness. Because it's us, you know, against these motherfuckers. Because you motherfuckers are going off. The world is, is, is upside down, you know. There's a bunch of different doctrines out here. There's a bunch of, but there's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one truth, my man. Okay? So, hey, this is the way walk ye in it, bro. Look. Because the scripture are telling you to hate, you got to hate your own life. Because when it's time, you know, that we, just like uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When it comes to that time, you, you're ready to give it all up for you. How about Shemashah? Because you understand, you know, the kingdom of heaven is a hand. There's more in store. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Okay? And whosoever does not bear his his cross and come after me cannot be my disciples. For which of you intended to build a tower, sit it down first and count the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? Right. Who have believed our report that this is the truth? This 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 is the end of an age, the end of a kingdom. Yeah, it looks great. It's a beautiful day. Every the city's going on. Everybody's doing their job, you know, because everybody's got in their lot, you know. But we our lot is to have faith in Yahweh Shemasha, to watch and pray, to be patient, you know. The day, the hour, of the day, the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Bam, just like that. All you know, watching all these prophecies take place, the the build up of the World War Three, the implementation of the M A R K. You know, hey, and get you know, make me ready by the for the battle. Why? By just putting on as the elect, having faith, full faith and confidence in your about my shy, bro. Okay. For which of you intended to build a tower, sit it down, not down first, and count at the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it, least happy, happily. After he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and consulted whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand? Or else, while the other is yet as great way off, he sent the ambassador des desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever be whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple, bro. You know, salt is good, but if it's, it but if the if the salt has lost his flavor, wherewith shall it be some seasoned? It is neither it is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill. But men cast it out. He that hath ears, let him hear. Right, man. You know, this. there's only one way, man. You know, if if not, you, 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 you know. But everybody's in, once again, everybody's in their lot. And that's the gospel. Understanding that everybody's in their lot. This is the book of uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling, man. Work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. 
once again, understanding and believing the word of truth and asking the Lord to forgive us, you know, and to, to please be with us, to, to, to cover us. This is the book of Luke chapter 17, because what does Scripture say? And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know a prophet had been among them, right? Uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah should come, he answered, answered them and said, The kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah cometh not with observation, bro. Neither say they, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. Look, for behold, the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah is within you, man. Yeah, the kingdom of the Lord is within us. Right, and as we read earlier, John chapter 14. He that have my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Right? You know, we got to, it's like, uh, you know, if the Lord is with you and in you, wouldn't that be the kingdom of heaven? You know, it's like, because it's like uh, you're governing, you govern yourselves. You know, uh, you're walking in the spirit to the best of your abilities. You're already there, bro. You're already there. You know, right here. Yeah, we. What to say? I wish y'all would take him not not out of the world, but keep him away from the evil. Um, you, you're you're being sealed. You're already sealed. We gotta get that scripture. Um, that's a beautiful scripture. Let me let me. I can't even paraphrase it right now. We're just going to have to see, Lord willing, I can find it. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 24. We, uh, we'll close it out with that one. As his ways are plain into the holy, so are their stumbling blocks into the wicked. Right. For good, for the good, for the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners. Okay. Right. You know, it's simple, man. Plain to the holy and stumbling blocks to the wicked. Uh Scripture speaks about, you know, there's going to come a falling away first, but then in the last days, you're going to wake up, some to everlasting life, some to ever everlasting contempt. You're going to you're gonna come to you, how about Shemash, with a whole heart, with weeping, with mourning, with supplications. You're going to wrench your heart, and not your garment, you know. These are the things that you're going to be doing. And we're going to all, under the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we're the sons of Yahweh Shemash, you know. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 22. Let the multitude perish. Right? I want to I wanna go back and, you know, the kingdom of heaven is this word of truth, man. The kingdom of heaven are these words. Because don't forget, Yahweh Shem is going to put these laws in their inward parts. You know, we're going to govern the world by these laws, statutes, commandments. By this law of life from cover to cover, you know. You know, like right now, the earth is given to the hand, hand, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. We're in hell, you know. This is their heaven, right? We're in hell. This is their heaven. Right? This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 22. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. I was going to end it off on that. But let me see if we can find that. Uh, just scripture real quick. Sealed up to the day. Yeah, this is it. I think this is it. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20. And then we're still going to end it off with that second address. I think we passed it. Okay. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20. But ye have not so learned, Yahweh Shai, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, right? And that you put on the new man, which after Yahweh Shemashai is created in righteousness and true holiness, bro. Wherefore, put in the way lying, speaking, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members, members one of another, right? Uh, okay. We are members one of another, one body, bro. Having one mind, being on the same accord, okay? 
Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Right. Walking in the spirit. Neither give place to the devil. Right. All this corruption, all this uh, uh, making merchandise of the children of Israel, you know, uh, you know, meddling with other men's marital affairs and things like that. 501c3s, uh, filthy lucre say, you know, vain glory, all these things that are written up in the scriptures, you know, idolatry, calling on another name, bro. Aren't they, the man? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's why we're so thankful for this word of truth. You know, neither give place to the devil. Let him that steal, let him that stole steal no more, bro. But rather let him labor with his hands the things which is good, that he may give to him that needeth, bro. You know, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. No guile, no false doctrine, bro. But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace. Unto the hearers, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shemashah, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Okay? Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speakings be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, as Yahweh Shemashah, as for Yahweh sake, hath forgiven you. Right? You know, coming back, understanding that, okay, you know, everybody's in their lot, you know. You know, you're either going to get this truth or not. And, you know, we're not, you know, not, don't have to be all pissed off at the two thirds and everything. Just, but we have to be thankful that, Lord willing, we're part of the 144 elect number of Israel because that's the way the story goes. There'll be, you know, the Lord is the Father of Spirits, right? Now let's close it out, bro. And, you know, the water you have, Hashem Hashem, for this epistle, the water for the Spirit to do it. You know, I, I almost want to say, Salaki, that it's so long, but, you know, it's, this is what the Lord has given us today, man. You know, I was, you know, sometime I'd be wanting to do a little short five or ten minute epistles. I don't know. It's not, I don't know. I don't know, bro. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 22. Let the multitude perish then that was born in vain, you know, and let my grape that very small number, that remnant, you know, um, very small sanctuary. Only a remnant shall return. Although Israel be as the sand of the sea, only a remnant shall return. Do you hear the words, bro? And let my grape be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. Okay? Let my... Great be kept in my plant for great labor have I made it perfect. Right. So the scripts are telling you, hey, let the multitude perish that was born in vain. This these things have to come to pass. So hey, with that, we're gonna we're gonna wanna give all honors and praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwidash. Wanna give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out hundred percent truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom Israel. Shalom.